in this video I'm gonna make you an advanced prompt engineer and if you're unfamiliar with the word prompt engineering well first of all prompt is just how you ask or request information from generative AI tools like ChatGPT and prompt engineering is understanding all of the tips and being educated on what works and what doesn't to get better results from these generative AI tools when you're asking it or requesting information. Now I promise in the first two minutes you're gonna get all of the answers that you need. If you got any value out of this please like the video, please subscribe, and please comment. I answer all of the comments. I always look forward to them. All you have to do is ask ChatGPT or whatever generative AI tool that you're using to act as a world-class prompt engineer your job is to help me generate powerful high-impact prompts tailored to my needs first ask me what I'm trying to achieve then ask a few smart follow-up questions to clarify context tone tools that I'm using in my ideal output format once you understand my goal give me an expert level prompt make sure the prompt is clear flexible and easy to reuse that's all you got to do now you're a prompt engineer now you're an advanced prompt engineer now, I've also created a chat bot I call it prompt genius all you have to do scan the QR code it's already been programmed to act like a prompt engineer it's already been programmed to act like a prompt engineer and to ask all the the right questions so that you get the best prompt back now I'm gonna also include this as part of the PDFs that I'm gonna share in this video so there you have it now you're an advanced prompt engineer that's all it takes folks that's all it takes at it so in order to get the most out of your prompts here are the steps you should take first of all avoid unnecessary words so many people use please and thank you and they joke around that when we finally have generative AI consciousness that the generative AI will remember them as the friendly people that were always kind to the generative AI you could you could stop doing that you could stop doing that every word that doesn't add value weakens your prompt period be clear be concise be direct so in other words here's a bad prompt can you please help me maybe put together a kind of summary of our quarter four results for our leadership team now it's bad because it's wordy it's vague it slows down the understanding and it just clouds the task for the large language model here's a good prompt summarize our Q4 results in four bullet points for a leadership update it's clear it's concise it just gets to the point every word has a value in that sentence request that's how you should do it second be descriptive so you want to paint a clear picture add context add detail and specifics to help the AI generate what you truly want so in other words here's here's a bad prompt make a presentation for my team now the reason why that's bad it's too general what topic how long what format so here's a good prompt of being descriptive create a five slide deck to show how generative AI can improve client response times in our firm far more descriptive greater chance you're going to get the result you're looking for next set audience and tone you always want to define who the content is for and the style that you want do you want it funny do you want it serious do you want it formal do you want it professional sounding so here's a bad prompt tell me about our AI plan there's no clarity on who's it for or the tone needed here's a good prompt explain our AI adoption strategy in a confident tone for department heads so we're giving clarity 
on what we're trying to accomplish here. We're trying, we're, we're explaining the audience. We're explaining the tone. We want it to sound confident. Next, use role play. This is a very powerful characteristic. We start with act like A, act like a lawyer, act like a doctor, or pretend you are to set up a point of view or professional lens for the AI. So a bad prompt, what should I say to my staff? Lacks perspective and clarity on purpose? Here's a good prompt, act like a CEO addressing the staff during a company-wide meeting about integrating AI tools. Now the generative AI is going to search all of the information that it has about all of the CEOs out there and how they've responded in the past on all of the material, the billions of words, and it's going to put together a better prompt for you. Use limiting words. Again, every word has value. Use limiting words. Words like only, focus on, or avoid. Help guide responses and reduce fluff or irrelevant details. Bad prompt. Give me some AI tools. Broad, directionless, what kind of tools for what? Here's a good prompt. List only customer service AI tools that can be implemented within 30 days and cost under $500 a month. Clear, precise. We're saying list only customer service AI tools. It allows the generative AI to focus in on what you truly want and then just lose the noise. Because again, it's trained on billions of words. There's a lot of information out there. So if you can simplify it for the generative AI tool, then you're going to get a far better response. Avoid negative phrasing. Words like don't or not or exclude are often ignored or misinterpreted. Instead, clearly state what should be included. Bad prompt. Don't include any tools that require monthly subscriptions. Now that's a bad prompt because the AI may still include a bunch of, a, a bunch of monthly subscriptions because again, it's weighting every word in that prompt. It's not necessarily connecting the don't with the monthly subscriptions. So a better way to do it is to say, only include free one-time payment AI tools suitable for startups. It's far more effective to use a limiting phrase like only, only include. It's now going to focus in on what you're asking it for versus what you're not asking it for. Share examples. This is another powerful way to get the response that you're looking for, where you share examples of what you're trying to accomplish. Bad prompt, create an ad for our marketing campaign. It's vague. The AI doesn't know your industry, your audience, your preferred style, nothing. Good prompt. I included three examples of ads we like. I included three examples of ads we'd like ours to look like. Create an ad for our marketing campaign. And here's our website for your review. Not only in this prompt are you sharing three examples, but you're also giving it your website to search your website, review your website, understand your business, understand your industry, and create a much better response the desired outcome the result that you're expecting very useful for prompts what's the final result that you want after this prompt is created what are you trying to accomplish or uh, are you looking to inform persuade create summarize solve all of those things are very helpful bad prompt write about the need for chat gpt in our business why is it bad? Does not specify what you want the reader to do 
or understand. Here's a good prompt. Write a persuasive email to convince partners to pilot ChatGPT internally. The goal is to gain their approval to proceed with the initiative. So ultimately we're telling them, here's the result we want. We want the leaders to approve it so that we can proceed with the initiative of using ChatGPT internally. Clarify output length. ChatGPT, a lot of these generative AI tools could be very wordy, very lengthy, can give you the response perhaps in a, in a format that you're not looking for. So be specific. If you want a paragraph, ask for a paragraph. If you want five bullets, ask for that 100 words, however you want to do it. Clarify the output length. Here's a bad prompt. Tell me about CRM benefits. There's no length or structure given. Here's a good prompt. List five bullet points summarizing the key benefits of a CRM system for a construction company. And lastly, ask for formats. Request output as a list, charts, timelines, table, bullet points. So very useful. And they're so good at doing this. Bad prompt. Break this information on the payroll software out for me. Terribly written too, by the way. Why is it bad? It doesn't tell AI how to organize or display results. Good prompt. Create a table comparing three payroll software tools by price, support, and ease of use. Now, those are the prompt tips. They're all very logical. They're all very simple. And basically, the more descriptive you are, the cleaner the prompt, the fewer the unnecessary words that are in there, the better the response. I needed you to understand how to prompt first. But this is really all you need to do in order to become an advanced prompt engineer. Now, lastly, what you could do, you go to the next level and you can build a custom chatbot that automatically upgrades weak prompts. So you can use ChatGPT, the MyGPTs, create your own chatbot that already knows that's what you want. I want a better prompt. You put in your prompt, it rewrites your prompt, asks you a list of questions, and gives you the best version of that. And look at that. I already created it for you. That QR code right there. I will have this information in the show notes. All you have to do here is put in your prompt. It'll follow up by asking several more questions and then give you you the best chance of getting the response that you were looking for in the first place. Now that's prompt engineering. You've gone from beginner to advanced in just this one video. I will have links to those slides that you saw so that you could refer back to them. And it takes me a lot of time to create these videos, edit these videos, and create the PDFs that go along with these videos. So if you could kindly like it, comment that it's giving you value, because that keeps me going, and share it with your friends, that would be greatly appreciated. Good luck at Prompt Engineering.